Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm acrylic artist Joni Young. If you're new here, thanks so much for joining. Today I'm going to be showing you step by step how to paint this pretty tropical sunset with all these palms and a beautiful glowing sun. We're working on an 11 by 14 double primed stretched canvas today. I am going to leave all the colors and brushes we're using in a full list below in the description for you. We're going to begin with warm cadmium yellow and neon orange, a little bit of water on my flat brush. I'm going to start pulling both of those colors together across the top for the sky. I'll continue blending and then I'll begin to pick up a little bit of my titanium white as well as some water. Blending on the top of the canvas, making it lighter in color. Okay, let's take a little bit more water, white, yellow, and orange, and begin working on the water below. So we're going to use the same colors in the water as we do in the sky. Nice long sweeping strokes, softly blending back and forth. Alright, let's go ahead and wash our brush out and switch over to our next color. I'm going to be working with my neon purple violet and I'm going to pull across the center into that white, take a little bit of water, we'll pull back and forth nice long strokes and then pick up a little bit of white and soften this color. It's such a glowing beautiful purple. If you don't have this neon purple violet by Holbein, you can use uh, magenta or quinacridone violet. Now pulling my brush down and flicking softly, I can begin to create the illusion of reflections in the water from the palm trees and that island above. So just very soft and lightly. We're painting wet on wet today so you can easily blend these colors together and move the paint around. Let's push and tap and lightly pull and flick for some soft little sweeping clouds. Now I'm going to start adding a little bit of my light ultramarine blue with titanium white. I'm still using my large flat brush. You can use any brush that you feel comfortable with for this though. I'm going to pull across the water and look how that just glows against all those other colors. I'll keep adding the white and the blue and pulling it across and then flicking underneath for that reflection. Using the corner of my flat brush, I'm going to add in just a few little dabs and hints of this white, blue, and a little bit of orange and yellow. We just want a lighter color. As long as we have a little bit of that blue in there, we'll have a nice soft shadow. Now with a clean brush, I've got my filbert brush now, any size that you feel comfortable with. I'm going to scumble off that paint in a circle to form our sun. So every time I go back and I wipe the excess paint off on my towel, this leaves us with that glowing sun that's got that uh, natural shadow line around it that makes it really pop out. And then I'll just blend and soften these clouds across the sky a little bit and we'll move on to our next step. Cleaning this area off just a little bit more.
do a little halo around it. Just want to make sure I have a nice smooth shape here and then I'm going to come in with titanium white to make it stand out even more. Pick up a little bit of cadmium yellow warm with my titanium white and add a few soft buttery highlights to the sky. All right, let's take some neon orange and yellow, pull softly back and forth. I want to make the color more intense and build up this saturation some more. So I will be covering up a little bit of those reflections, but that's okay. We'll be adding a few more later on and we can continue by pulling and flicking down, creating some new ones. Okay, let's add some up in the sky as well, right above that purple violet and towards the top. Okay, I think that looks really pretty. We've warmed up the sky a little bit more. With a clean brush, I'm going to take neon purple violet, light ultramarine blue, a little bit of white, mix the two together, and start tapping in to build up some more clouds and shadows. Make these clouds stand out just a little bit more. Let's mix up some more color, pull in a little bit of that neon orange, tap, pull and softly flick. All right, let's move on to the water and add some more highlights. Taking some orange and yellow, some white, pull very lightly, barely touching that canvas, create soft little lines back and forth. And now we're going to focus just on the center more. Yellow and white, short little flicks, side to side, wiggling your brush, and this will create a little bit of a reflection in the water from that sun. Straight into that black paint, you can use any black that you like. I've got a looser, more fluid black paint I'm using today, and I'm going to do a line across for that island and then make it kind of bumpy and lumpy across the top for all of those trees and whatever is over there. Maybe there's a little beach hut or beach cottage. Use your imagination. I like to create my own stories as I'm painting along. And then pulling and flicking straight up very lightly for some skinny palm trees all different heights, some shorter, some taller. Now we're going to pull little arches and flick all directions for the top of our palm trees. And then we'll flick off of each one of those very lightly to give you that kind of a wispy palm leaf look. 
I'm going to use a combination of black and I'm going to pick up a little bit of the light ultramarine blue for some of them as well, which will look really, really pretty. I've got a lot of painting tutorials for how to paint palm trees and seascapes. I'll add a link in the description below for you guys if you're interested in learning more. It really does just take practice with getting these palm leaves and getting comfortable with your brush. Just a few little tips and tricks and you guys can practice, follow along, and you will soon become pros at painting them. They're really, really fun once you get the hang of it. A big part of learning how to paint these is just knowing what brushes to use uh, it can make all the difference in the world if you have the right brush. So I tend to use a filbert brush for mine and I find that that um, gets the job done really quickly and they look a lot more natural. Um, most people beginning to paint would think they have to go to a liner brush maybe but that can be really hard. I mean, if I've been painting for over 20 years, and if I tried to paint palm leaves with a liner brush, it would be a, a little challenging for me and tricky. Um, it's hard to have control with a liner brush, so I like to use a filbert, um, and sometimes I like to use a mini fan brush. So I'm coming across the bottom, I'm going to build up my light ultramarine blue and shadows in the water with a little bit of this black but you don't want to have a lot you just want to have like a dry brush and a very small amount in your brush for this so you can flick side to side and down going both ways with your brush will give you that uh, reflection in the water kind of a look that you want so here right by the sun i've got some light ultramarine blue on my brush to create those palm leaves and that gives them kind of um, a softer look so it's kind of we've got a combination of silhouette and then just some deeper shadows I love the way all these colors work together in this painting and I think you guys are gonna really enjoy painting this one it's pretty easy and uh, like I said as long as you have the right brushes you'll be able to paint along with me for this let me know what you guys think of this one. Leave a comment below. I always love hearing from you guys. And uh, like this video. If you're just tuning into my channel now, um, welcome. I hope that you decide to subscribe and support my channel. Also, thanks for all of the wonderful comments and all of your guys' support. It really means a lot to me. Um, when I get good feedback from you guys and all those wonderful comments as well as new subscribers it helps my channel grow and it keeps me wanting to deliver more content to you guys. And if you guys don't have light ultramarine blue um, you can use regular ultramarine blue or cobalt blue and just mix it with a little bit of white and that's all it takes to make this color um, another color that would be really pretty you can combine neon pink or purple and white and add that to your palm trees that would be really pretty all those colors kind of look nice together um, I want to try this one again and incorporate some turquoise too I think that would be really pretty I like creating palm tree scenes and tropical landscapes with uh, all those pretty pastel colors. And when you've got that black silhouette in there, it really makes all those colors stand out even more. So I'm going to just continue to build up this blue and white in the water. That's a really nice contrast and complementary color to all these warm colors that we have. I'm going to add some blue and white to the sky, very lightly, just dab here and there, not over blending, keeping it just kind of loose. 
and right above the black island in between those palm trees I'll add a little bit of my neon purple violet and white and the light ultramarine blue and white just to kind of create more of a, a cool glow around those palm trees and a little bit more white right here in the center and even out this circle it was just kind of bugging me a bit it was a little bit crooked So I'll let you guys watch the rest of this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it and leave a comment below. Thanks again for all your support you guys and I'll see you very soon in a new video.